Wir äh, kommen zu einer Person, die wir jetzt mal versuchen, ganz clever und künstlerisch herzuleiten. Oh, oh. Ich habe etwas mitgebracht aus meinem okkulten Stübchen. Und äh, das ist ähm, ein Alastair Crowley Tarot. Und du darfst jetzt mal eine Karte ziehen. Kleinen Moment. Ich ich muss ja gestehen, ich habe so ein bisschen, also na, eigentlich bin ich ja nicht gläubig oder so, aber ich habe so ein bisschen Bammel vor so ganzem okkulten Zeug. Ich schreibe da manchmal drüber, aber eigentlich so ganz geheuer ist mir das nicht. Und ich bin mir jetzt nicht sicher, ob ich hier einen Fehler mache oder nicht. Äh, aber ja, Katha hat mich jetzt so weit gebracht und ich bin hier in der Falle. Ähm ich bitte dich darum, mit der linken Hand zu ziehen, denn die linke Hand kommt vom Herzen. Es ist direkt von drinnen nach draußen. Have it. Ich bin nicht mutig und ich nehme einfach die erste Karte. Oh, oh der Narr. Der Narr, der Narr, der Narr. So schaut er aus, Freunde. Seht ihr das? So ja. schaut der Narr aus im Alistair Crowley. Ähm, Tarot. Mein Tarot, Gott, Tarot. Tarot. Da, Crowley, mir fehlt Tarot. das Wort Tarot. Und äh, ja, der Narr, der Narr, eine ganz spannende Figur. Ja, was fällt also dir dazu der, ein? Der Narr hat in, den, hat in Filmen oder in Theaterstücken meines Wissens nach, in, in Romanen gibt es auch immer, auch wenn er nicht der Narr genannt wird, aber gibt es auch immer eigentlich einen Narren. Der hat immer die besten Lines und der, der sagt immer die Wahrheit, oder? Und der kann Leute auflockern. So ein ich glaube, der Narr hat keine festgelegte Rolle. Im klassischen Theater ist ah, der okay. Narr die Person, die zwischen ähm, Publikum und dem Ensemble hin und her switchen darf und so ein bisschen die berühmte Narrenfreiheit hat. Insofern die Überleitung. Wir haben euch einen kleinen Film vorbereitet. Da saß natürlich wieder an den Knöpfen der Dirko, der dort hinter der Kamera steht. Und ähm, es handelt sich in unserem Film um einen Künstler, der Mr. Wast sich nennt, in Leipzig ansässig ist, glücklicherweise mittlerweile. Und eine sehr vielfältige, bunte, ausgefeilte Kunst macht. Er kommt aus dem klassischen Schauspiel, ist ein britischstämmiger Schauspieler und Sänger quasi, ist in die Performancekunst rüber geswitcht und wir haben euch einen kleinen Film vorbereitet. Das erklärt sich dann vielleicht von selbst, wenn ihr das seht. Äh, wenn, wenn ich die liebe Katha unterbrechen darf oder wenn ich fortsetzen darf. Bitte? Ja, alle Gruftis, die ich kenne, die meisten Punks, die ich kenne, sind alle ganz, ganz, ganz große Monty Python-Fans. Und Mr. Wars steht ein bisschen in der Tradition von Monty Python. Also im besten Sinne von Unsinn. Aber Unsinn auf einem hohen Niveau, auf einem hohen Performance-Kunstniveau, was der Mann macht, denn der weiß, was er tut. Ich glaube, Mr. Wars ist sogar ausgebildet, so, so Royal Shakespeare Society-mäßig, so ich glaub, ja. Ja. gut drauf und kann dir Henry, Henry the Third wahrscheinlich alle Monologe einfach so bringen. Der kann viel, er kommt etwas bunt daher, man sollte das nicht unterschätzen und ihr habt am morgigen Tag nochmal das Glück von einem seiner ähm, Musikprojekte CDs zu gewinnen, daran erinnern wir euch morgen, jetzt aber erstmal ein Interactive Disturbing Life Element. Ich grüße euch von einem Tor zu einer anderen Welt. Wir sind heute hier für das DSF und ihr seht heute ein kleines Künstlerporträt von Mr. Wast, der eigentlich gar nicht Mr. Wast heißt, der eigentlich Henry heißt. Grüß dich, Henry. Hallo. Er ist 3 Meter, 3 Inches tall, weighing 150 Gramm, seine Augen sind red und blue, er hat braun blonde black hair und eine sandige Komplexion. Auf der Beach, auf der Edge of an Estuary, Smudge Cabin, waits for you and me. Hi, 
Hi. 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 How are you? Hi. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Did, machen wir das auf English? Okay, dann, mi dann mixen wir. Ja. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, Drinks. Wir well, well, we haben well, Drinks. Maybe Ray. Ray is gonna make some drinks. Yeah, this is Ray. You know what I'd like, Ray? <laughs> no, no, no. <sighs> so you're looking it's really beautiful. Thanks, thanks. This I is made natural. <laughs> well, it's you know it, this is this is one of my natural states. A one-man carnival, combining man, one, and carnival, whatever that means. Yeah, I worked in an autistic school once. Right, this is just a little story, just to illustrate what I just said. And we had a day where everybody had to dress up and wear, you know, uh, crazy costumes. And there was one girl who always came to school dressed like a rabbit or a beaver or you know, she was a fur, fur, furby, heißt this. Sie hat immer diesen Kostüm angehabt. Das heißt, an diesem Tag, wenn wir alle verrückt Kostüme anziehen sollten, kam sie in, in quasi Schlaghose, Hemd, uh, keine Schminke und gar nichts. Also das war für sie nicht normal. Aha, also ja. das war ganz, ganz lustig. Dankeschön. Thanks, Ray. Cheers. Cheers. Wie ich hörte, deine Mutter hat schon mit den Beatles getanzt. Ja, das stimmt. Meine Mutter hat mit allen Beatles getanzt im Coven Club damals. Ja, fand sie aber, she didn't, she didn't like them. She told me she didn't like them because they didn't have a van. They didn't have a van? <laughs> Die hatten keinen kein Wagen, die, hatten, die didn't have a van, ja. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uncool. Irgendwie uncool, ja. <lacht> yeah, yeah. irgendwie, irgendwie will man das aber nicht wissen. Das, it was too much information from my mom, but anyway, ja. Yeah, ah, okay. So, um, <lacht> du hast mir erzählt, du hast dann die Schule geschmissen. Sozusagen, ja, ein bisschen, ja. Mm. Und hast äh, gesagt, da äh, habe ich keinen Bock drauf. Ja. Yeah. Ich mache jetzt Kunst. Ja, das war so das Einzige, was mir übrig äh, blieb, ähm, in diese Richtung zu gehen, äh, weil die ganze akademische Seite äh, äh, nicht so meins war. Und dann, genau, so I went to uh, like a, a high school for, for, for uh, fine art and did like a foundation course for a year. And in this year I started to do films, like, you know, filming myself, talking to the camera, doing climbing up a tower that I've made out of junk. And stuff like this, and someone said, oh, that's, um, that's performance art, you should go to this course in Brighton, which is like a bridge between fine art and performance art. Um, so that's what I did. I went to Brighton and did performance art, and then ended up working with a after doing like leaving performance art and becoming an, an actor like really traditional style actor uh, realized also this also wasn't really my place and then i was living at the time with a band we v stonder and um, they invited me in to do some vocals for them and i ended up going on stage with them and starting to collect these things that i love so much whatever wigs costumes strange instruments um, um, and uh, and became like a performance. They called me a disturbing l interactive live element. That was my job description. <laughs> <laughs> so I could be on the stage and I could go into the audience and somehow make a connection between the, um, between the people and the, and the band. <laughs> God, yeah, well, I mean, that's the eccentric British humour, I guess, is part of my DNA. So, you know, there's things like Bonzo Dog Doodah Band <laughs> from the 60s and 70s. And they were one of the first, maybe the only band I can think of, really, that, that like, had this ridiculous humour and um, also used a lot of theatrical things when they did their shows. They had some hits, but they also did a lot of very, very weird stuff that 
and you know only people who've res you know sort of followed them are you can you would only know about this. Um, Frank Zappa is another influence, but he's obviously not an English guy. But he's one of the only other people I can think of, like musically, who does a, who did a musical show that was also very theatrical. And very surreal sometimes, and you know, involving you know storytelling and being a cat, being different characters, whatever. But I think it's actually probably could be even more old than that it could be something from this we have a tradition called morris dancing which is um, is like they have like bells i don't know i think there's some here like this <laughs> and uh, and they sort of they get very drunk usually and they get dressed up in strange costumes and they it happens in villages in in england in small rural towns in england and it usually happens at kind of pagan feast times, like you know, uh, um, like the harvest. You know, when the harvest has been made, then they or, or in or in spring they're making a, a, a festival to to try and uh, make sure that the crops grow and things like this. So it's just lots of there's a kind of there's a, some kind of pagany roots to this performance music thing in England, I think, which I feel a connection to as well, yeah. like. Um, uh, yeah, it's something. It's a. It's it's more than music, and it's more than theatre, and it's more than comedy. It's there's some kind of ritual element, or some kind of um, sound. 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 It just klingt echt scheiße oder oder so schwach oder irgendwie Klischee oder weiß ich nicht. Man möchte das nicht wirklich so sagen, aber es ist tatsächlich so. Ja. In the darkness we are created, in the darkness lovers grow. I feel like um, if I do a show I feel better afterwards, I feel like, uh, and, and people often say that they, you know, that whatever, that it's changed their mood, it's made, you know, it's, it's a kind of, it's a sharing process of, uh, uh, you know, shaking off the shit, getting rid of a negative, Feeling and being, you know, coming out of the of the whole experience, feeling better, feeling like you had a little trip uh, <laughs> into something, you know, something different. Had a maybe maybe been surprised. I think that's a, a lot of what what I want to do is have be be surprised myself and be able to surprise people. <laughs> so yeah. Also, das ist auch um, für dich so ein bisschen Psychohygiene, auf die Könnte. Bühne zu gehen und dann. Könnte man so sagen, ja. Problems with the light. Problems with the light. In the darkness we're created. In the darkness lovers grow. The dark is peace and stillness. The darkness is our home. The darkness is our home. The darkness is our home. We be stunder, yeah, that's right. Schon, we be stunder. Die gibt's schon sehr lange. Die gibt's schon seit seit 2000, ja. Yeah. Oh. 20, 21. Ah, oh, it's yeah. a long time, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Und um, dann gab's die seit 2007, glaube ich, die Figur Mr. Vast. 2007 war die erste Platte, genau, mhm. ja. Also Mr. Vast ist, war meine, äh, oder ist, ist entstanden durch meine äh, Eintreten in diesem Band, We Be Stonder. Also Mr. Mein, Mr. Vast kam da äh, zu leben in dieser äh, Konstellation mit We Be Stonder und ist dann quasi für sich alleine weitergegangen. Kröter, das ist stimmt, seit ich, seit, seit, äh, seit, Ray, <lacht> tell me how long it's been, no, it's been a while, it's been seven years maybe as well, or six, five, four, let's call it four, time is so weird. <lacht> <lacht> Let's, I think five, maybe five, 
what do you make a sound, Ray? If I'm right, about five years. Yeah, about, <laughs> about five. <laughs> Crota has been around for about five years, and um, it's a it's a kraut kraut rock kraut rock. Like, well, I hate that phrase, but that's kind of what it is. It's a it's a it's an experimental. It's like a band, but it's also. Yeah, it, I don't know. I can't describe it, but it, yeah, it's it's a band. It's definitely a band. There's a bass. There's a guitar. There's drums. There's synths. There's there's a trumpet. There's a vocalist. Uh, there's also costumes uh, and performance uh, elements. <laughs> It's not like, okay, here's here's number one from the album, here's number five, here's number six, and thank you very much, good night. It's kind of, it, there's, there's something else happening where somehow it's like a... We're also, you know, uh, uh, enjoying some kind of exchange with the audience and 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 having a having an experience <laughs> together with the audience. So it's uh, it's it's not just music. It's yeah, Crota is 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 is, um, is an experience. Yeah, yeah. It's more. It's a live. It's definitely a live thing. I would say. Yeah. <laughs> In, my in deinem Hirn? In my cave, in my... In, in deinem my, Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it is, it's, a, it's a, you know, I, what happened is when I got, when I started with, with Weavy Stonder, we'd arrive at venues and they'd be setting up the music side of things and I didn't have any music side of things to set up. I just was there with my, you know, makeup and <laughs> costumes. So I would usually just run around behind the stage or in the venue wherever and find things, whatever it was, like a stick with some bells on or, or I don't know, things, objects, and, and I'd bring them onto stage and, uh, and make my part of the show out of things that I found and um, sometimes out of things that I stole from the audience or wherever. <laughs> uh, because of the, the things, the stuff, yeah. And, and so the stuff has become like, yeah, but I, I've kind of, I, me and the stuff have become one. <laughs> so like I tried to, actually when I started Mr. Vast, I thought, get, I can't take this stuff. Because eventually I had a wooden box that I'd made. I had a huge penis hat that I'd made which squirted water. This is the, this is what's left of it. This is this wrinkled the golden. <laughs> <laughs> Split the atom, but it slipped out of my hand. I memorized the formulas, but I didn't understand. So, but it used to be like a one meter penis with which shot water out of, of the end, and I could, you know, <laughs> I, it, it, I could pre impregnate the entire audience from a distance of 20 meters. And, and, it, and so it had its own wooden box which was like a one meter long wooden box. And that, I was traveling on airlines and shit like that with this massive specially made wooden crate, which was also full with all of, of, the, all of the other junk as well. And, I, and, <laughs> and, when, and one day I was just like, this is insane. I can't carry all this shit around with me anymore. Just get rid of it. Just make a suit. Just this, this is the only thing that's left of that, this idea. Just make a suit and, and that's it. That's all you have, the microphone, the suit, uh, and nothing else. And that, so that was how Mr. Vast started with just a suit, which is like, I, I did, I did want some special effects. Like I asked, I, I, I asked her, the costume maker, to make these wings, which like, you know, they, they, they hide in these little pockets yeah. like, in here, and then you can kind of pull them out, 
during a song or whatever, and suddenly you've got your wings. It was amazing, yeah. Uh, so and, uh, and, the, and, the, and the hat, you know. So, it, so those are the two compromises I made to not having any more shit. It was like, I don't want any more shit, but I would like a costume that has some tricks. And so this is what I got. Touch. And it lasted about one tour. <laughs> and after about one tour, the thing started to come again. And now I'm back to having a, like more than I could fit in the, in the, in the, in a one meter box. <laughs> like I can't seem to get away from the stuff. The stuff, the stuff wants me. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I found, I found him on, on eBay. <laughs> and um, and he, I wanted to I wanted to explore ventriloquism, uh, Bauchreden, Bauchreden, and uh, yeah, Bau Bauchreden. You, du kannst es nicht, du kannst es gar nicht. Yeah, just just <laughs> there's no need to there's no need to start off being insulting to me, Heinrich. Just just because this is the first time you've been in front of the camera, um, so. So I got him, and it apparently he's not, he's not, he's not a Bauchin puppet, he's a marionette. That's why he's got this thing sticking out of his head. That's not the real reason, but never mind. Uh, so, the, so he's got this thing sticking out of his head, so he's actually a marionette. He's not, he's not a, he's not a um, ventriloquist dummy. Cheers. <laughs> and he, he's only got one hand, and that's a bit disturbing. And it's very, it doesn't even fit to his, it's not. Is, der ist total Deutsch. Das ist so. Well, exactly. He's come, he's German. Bayern. Apparently he's German. That's what they said. Yeah. And his jacket is from yeah. Austria. If you look on the label, I think it says like yeah, Loden. Like Here. Yeah, he's a hillbilly. There you go, look. Lodenfry. <laughs> ja, ich habe auch einen Mantel von Lodenfry. <laughs> expensive. Uh, It's expensive stuff. Yeah, he's a hunter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He is a hunter. But you wouldn't want to. Well, I don't know. Yeah. You know I, I er sieht auch aus, als hätte er viele Wildschweine gegessen. <lacht> <lacht> ja, Stimmt. Er hat, er hat so ein bisschen Plauze. Guck dir das an. Ja, auch so <lacht> vom Gesicht her. So ein bisschen. <lacht> Und sein anderes Bein ist da oben auf dem Scheit. Ach, das ist der Rest vom Penis? Well, it's not the rest of the penis. It's just like the same artist that made the, the, the cock hat. Um, I, I, after I told him the problems that I'd had at customs. Okay getting through with his penis hat, which obviously was full of water to, sh you know, it's full, had a super soaker inside it. Um, I said, can you just make me something that shoots water that maybe doesn't take up quite as much room? So that's what he made me. And it's it's basically a helmet. So it's a helmet. I just put it on, just pass it over. It, the, the thing might be trapped at the back. Yeah. And um, that's the front. And you pump this this thing here makes a great sound as well and um, when you've pumped long enough eventually you've got enough pressure um, to pull the release cord which is down here and <laughs> and um, and you know make and, and uh, fertilize the front row as we as we as we as we put it in the technical terms. <coughs> and there's also a light, so do you have and a battery inside? And there's also lights, inside? yeah, there's no batteries. No batteries tonight, I lost, all the batteries are out, unfortunately, but normally this blinks. And But you know, you d you, if you want to see that shit, you're gonna have to wait till, <laughs> till I'm back on stage. Um, yeah, where should we put it back over there? Yeah. 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 yeah, oh, that felt good. It's been a while. <laughs> Das war ein bisschen ein Stau. Ja. Wir müssen bitte nicht gehen. Sorry, yeah. no, go on. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> What the hell? Start laughing, Ray. Just when it starts laughing, Ray. Das ist, wenn es startet. As soon as it goes below the, the, the gürtel linie, Ray's, Ray's activated. It's gonna, it's gonna be so scum. Ich will noch ein Theaterstück machen. Ich habe ich hab ein Theaterstück gemacht, das heißt das Peter Pan.
Syndrom. Ach, genau, da ist ein Plakat ja. da drüben. Ähm, das habe ich hier in Leipzig äh, produziert mit Westflügel Theater. Das hat so viel Spaß gemacht. 